I'm going to read a few verses from John chapter 1. John chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. That means the darkness did not understand it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. That is my desire tonight that you might believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. This is essential. If we want to be in heaven, we'll have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to receive everlasting life through faith in him. What we need to do is understand that we're a sinner in the sight of God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No matter what sin you've committed, it's all sin in the sight of God. I know there are degrees of sin. Some people have done some more worse sins than others. But the fact is this. We're all guilty of sin. And we all need forgiveness for those sins. Without that forgiveness, we're heading down to hell. We're heading for the judgment of God. But I'm sure you know this verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you have that everlasting life that can only come through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone? You see, we've got to understand that we're sinners in the sight of God, otherwise we can never ever be saved. This is the first step to salvation. It's admitting the fact that we're sinners in the sight of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I wonder, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour? Are you still on your road, the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? Leads down to the judgment of God. And if you die without Christ, you'll be in hell. You'll be under the judgment of God. God does not want that. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind, agree with God that you're a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your eternal destiny depends on what you do with Jesus Christ in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sin. John chapter 1 and verse 8 He was not that light This is speaking of John the Baptist But was sent to bear witness of that light That was the true light Which lighteth every man that cometh into the world Speaking of the Lord Jesus Christ here He was in the world And the world was made by him And the world knew him not He came unto his own And his own received him not But as many as received him I'm hoping and praying that this will be you tonight that you would receive Christ as your Saviour. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. See, God wants us to be saved. God wants us to be born again into his family through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. We need to understand that when we're born into this world, we're born as sinners in the sight of God. Now, we need forgiveness for those sins. The only way we can receive forgiveness is through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ which he made for us once for all on the cross of Calvary. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I wonder, are you a child of God tonight? Are you saved? Are you on your way to heaven? 
The only way we can be on our way to heaven is through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What have you called upon the name of the Lord for your eternal salvation? You see, you and I are heading down to hell without Christ. And I'm here to warn you tonight to flee from the wrath which is to come. Because God is angry with the wicked every day. And yet your soul can be saved tonight through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. As I said before, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Are you a child of God? Have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour? Or are you still on that broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? There's no need for that. You can be saved by the grace of God tonight through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. You see, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. What you need to do is come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Look at uh, John chapter 1 and verse 15. John bear witness of him, that's of the Lord Jesus Christ, and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him, or told him out. And this is the record of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then art thou, Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. You know, that's what I would be too. A voice in the wilderness, crying out to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you would come to faith in Christ. That you would come to know Jesus Christ as your Saviour. You see, without Him we're going down to hell, we're facing the judgment of God. God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. What you need to do is come to God and admit the fact that you're a sinner. Repentance is a change of mind. Simply coming to God and agreeing with Him that yes, I realise that I'm a sinner. But Thy Son has died for me upon the cross. And then we need, what you need to do is simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. See, the heaven or hell at the moment of death, what will it be for you? It's determined by what you do with Jesus Christ. Make a wise choice tonight. Get right with God. Have forgiveness for your sins through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. I wonder what will it be for you at the moment of death? Heaven or hell? It's up to you. You must make the choice. You can either receive Christ as your saviour or you can reject him. But let me remind you, if you reject him though, you do it at your own peril and you'll be in the judgment of God. Not only for a thousand or a million years but for all eternity. God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind, agree with God that you're a sinner, then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. 
going to read uh, John chapter 1 and verse 26. This is concerning John. John answered them, there was some people that came to ask John who he was. John answered them saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latched I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Bethabara, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. Well, let's focus on those words, Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. I wonder, have your sins been taken away? Are you a child of God through faith in Christ? See, what we need to understand is the fact that we are sinners in the sight of God and we need the salvation of God. We need forgiveness for our sins. Without that forgiveness, we're heading into the judgment of God. Now, God does not want to have to judge us, but He will if we die without Christ as our Saviour. Read a scripture that says this, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. That means he came to save you and he came to save me. Why? Because we're all sinners in the sight of God. We need the forgiveness for our sins. Without that forgiveness we will be in hell and eventually the lake of fire for all eternity. But God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. Now, repentance is a change of mind. Simply coming to God and agreeing with Him that, yes, I realize that I am a sinner. Thy Son has died for me upon the cross. If you respond in the right way to God, you'll be saved as a result of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. See, without faith in Christ, we're heading down to hell. We're facing the judgment of God. But God in His love sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That everlasting life, my friend, can be yours tonight. But if you reject the Son of God, if you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will remain in a lost condition. The separation, see we have a separation between God and our soul because of our sin. Our sins of course are separation between us and God. He wants to bring us back to himself. The only way he can do that is through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ which he made upon the cross. You see Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. And praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. Is your soul saved? Tonight as you listen to this message, are you right with God? Do you have peace with God? See, Romans 5.1 says this, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way of salvation. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. If you're not saved, you remain in a lost condition and going down to hell into the judgment of God. God does not want to have to punish us, but He will if we do not believe on His Son. If we do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be in hell at the moment of death. I'm here to warn you tonight to flee from the wrath which is to come. God is angry with the wicked every day. And yet his mercy and his loving kindness is still extended to you tonight. What will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ? He'll either be your saviour or he'll be your judge. You must make that decision. But it's a big decision to make. But it's very simple. It's either salvation or damnation. And so the stakes are high here. These things are eternal. And because they're eternal, we must understand the seriousness of this situation we're in. If we die without Christ, we'll be in hell. And God does not want to have to punish us, but he will, if we die without Jesus Christ as our Saviour. As I said earlier, Christ Jesus came into the world 
to save sinners. When has he saved your soul? Are you ready to meet God? If you were to die right now, where would you be? Heaven or hell? It's all determined by what you've done with the Lord Jesus Christ. Time is running out. We must understand we don't know when we're going to die. I'm sure you realise that. You know, you and I have been to funerals and we never thought those people would go. We thought maybe we'd die first. But we went to their funeral. They're not there. Their spirit and soul have left their body at the moment of death. They're either in heaven through faith in Jesus Christ as their saviour, or they're down in hell because they've rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ, who tonight can be your saviour. What will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ? He'll either be your saviour, or he'll be your judge. You must make that decision. You need to make that decision. You will make that decision tonight. If you reject the Son of God, and just ignore the message concerning God's way of salvation, and the love of God toward mankind, if you reject that, there's only one place that you'll be in at the moment of death, and that is hell. God does not want us to go to hell. He wants us to be in heaven. And the only way we can be in heaven is through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now. Thanks for listening. God bless you. One Corinthians chapter six and verses nine to eleven. This is speaking to Christians. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, that sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, remember, speaking to Christians, and such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So we can see this awful list of sins here. And these Christians were once like that. They participated in this sort of behaviour. But they, uh, they are washed and they're sanctified and they're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. And that can be yours tonight. You can come from darkness unto light. You can be saved by the grace of God through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. You see, the devil is blinding the minds of those who do not believe. Do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to receive everlasting life. He's blinded their minds, so lest the light of the glorious gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ should shine unto them and they would be saved. You see, we're in great danger if we're not saved, if you're not a child of God. Why? Because you're on your way to hell. You're on your way to judgment. God does not want to have to judge you, but he has to if you die without Christ. Because God is absolutely righteous and good and just. And if he didn't judge unrighteousness and sin, he wouldn't be God, would he? He's absolutely just. There's no way that anyone can get out of anything in the Supreme Court in heaven. And that's the only real court. It's in heaven. The real just court is in heaven. God is absolutely just. He's no respect to persons. So you must understand that be sure your sin will find you out. That's what the Bible says. We're in for a shock if we think that we can be in heaven by doing good deeds. We cannot. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God that is salvation. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Otherwise we'd be boasting about it if we could get to heaven to be good enough. If we could do enough good works to be good enough to enter into heaven, it won't work that way. The Lord Jesus Christ had to die upon the cross. And that's why I'm here tonight. I want you to know that your soul can be saved through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That once for all sacrifice is all sufficient for your eternal redemption. God wants to save you. God wants to give you everlasting life. And this everlasting life is found in God's Son. 
in the Son of the living God, the one that to see the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is He your Saviour? He's available for the whole world to be saved. But unfortunately the whole world will not be saved because they will not come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind, simply agreeing with God that you're a sinner and then faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What are you prepared to do that tonight? To get right with God as a result of repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. That's all there is to it. I mean it's either heaven or hell. And what will it be for you? It's all determined by what you do with the Son of God. If you will receive him, you'll be saved. He came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, that is Jesus Christ to them, gave you the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Yes, the word of God says this, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. If you're not saved, you remain in a lost condition and going down to hell at the moment of death. I'm here to warn you tonight. God is angry with the wicked every day. And yet you don't have to face the anger of God. Your soul can be saved tonight as a result of faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Don't leave it another second. It's too dangerous not to be a child of God, not to be saved, not to be born again into God's family through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says we are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. I wonder will you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ tonight? It's either heaven or hell at the moment of death. What will it be for you? It's determined by your decision for or against the Lord Jesus Christ.